Zeus! Really, bro? It's pouring out here. Come on. So we finally got the Christmas tree up and decorated. Really happy with the way it came out. Brittany and I did it the other night together. Threw some music on, had a good time. Decorated above the fireplace as well. So we have some snowmen. Got the <laughs> nutcracker right there. And just some other decorations around the house. You know, we have a little Santa guy over by the coffee pot. A few wreaths. We got the bells going around the mirror. This green light, which is actually really cool. I'm not sure what the hell it's supposed to be or where it's supposed to go. I think you can hang it if you wanted to hang it, but I guess it looks pretty cool right there. We got Zeus sleeping over there. But all in all, had a good time and looking forward to the holidays. Now it's time to get a little pre-workout meal in. It's already, what is that, 3.30 and I haven't eaten yet today. All right, so we got the little electric griddle here. Don't feel like turning the stove on, so go ahead. Plug this guy in, if I can get it plugged in, all right, we'll set it to right about there, it looks good. And once that heats up, you know what we're actually going to do is throw a little bit of coconut oil on there. I believe it's non-stick anyway, but I figured why not just throw that on there. I've got to find a fork. I can't find one. All right, so we got some coconut oil down on there so the eggs don't stick. Let that melt up a little bit. All right, we got the coconut oil spread all over. The pan is hot. We got two whole eggs here and some egg substitutes scrambled up. And we're just gonna go ahead, throw that on the pan, and start cooking. So here's the Ezekiel bread that I'm using, the sesame. Brand is food for life. Again, it's a sprouted grain bread, completely flourless. And I'll show you the macros on it. These are the macros for one slice of bread. You're looking at 80 calories, half a gram of fat, 14 grams of carbs, three of which are fiber, and four grams of protein. All right, so eggs are just about done here. We're gonna take them off the pan because nobody likes overcooked eggs. We got the Ezekiel toast getting crunchy over here, and we'll be done in just a minute. All right, so it looks like the bread is just about done. We're getting crunchy and golden brown, which is just what we're looking for. So, go ahead and shut the heat, and we're good to eat. That rhymed. All right, that's the finished product. Just gotta throw some sriracha on there, but I felt compelled to share with you what just happened. I shook this bottle up. It was closed. I opened it and there must have been a little pressure buildup and we got a sriracha covered floor. So we just gotta clean that up before Zeus gets that and has a bad day. Finished product looks pretty good in my opinion. We got the sriracha on there. Everything toasted up nice. And the only thing we forgot to do was get a fork. So I'm gonna go grab a fork, eat this. Let's make sure it's crunchy. Good to go, crunch factor 10. Gonna watch some YouTube videos, and there's gym time. Damn is it crappy out. Post office closes in five minutes and I live around the block thankfully, but I got a package here that I need to go out today. So we gotta make it there in less than five minutes without driving too fast because it's raining out. So we're gonna drive the speed limit, but I'm confident that we're gonna make it. Welcome to Moe's! Come on, we're gonna make it. We got about a minute and a half left before they close. Because we were driving slow, I probably could have made it if I was driving faster. But, we gotta be careful. Oh shit, my seatbelt got caught in the door. Alright, let's go. We good, we good, we good, we good. So I'm sitting outside of the gym right now. I've been here for a few minutes by myself in silence, just visualizing my training session. I'm about to go in there and squat and deadlift. And normally when I walk into the gym, people say what's up and I'm cool with that. I'm very outgoing, but not so much today. I just want tunnel vision and 110% focus 
on me and the weights. So before I even get into the gym, I'm gonna throw the headphones on and get to work. And the reason is because I want to get better at something. Now, two videos ago, I made a video called Your Legs Are Small, and I talked about my lower back injury. And the back squat is something that I was advised not to do by my doctor. Obviously, it makes sense. You have herniated discs in your lumbar spine. You probably shouldn't be axial loading, putting weight on your spine and your neck and your back and this and that. So there was so much time away from squatting that I forgot how to do it. I was weak and it sucked. Now, probably three weeks ago or so, I reintroduced back squatting. I just started doing it again and obviously I was weak. I had to relearn the technique and I had to get more comfortable with it. And my last session, I went as high as 205 pounds for a few sets of three to five. Now, I know my new program is going to have back squats in it, and it's something that I really want to get better at. And my goal is to find the balance between fearing injury and pushing yourself and being stupid. Now, I think my problem is, is I'm too much on this end of the spectrum where I'm not pushing myself because I fear injury, but I know I'm capable of doing more. So I have to find that intensity level that allows me to push myself in a safe way. So I'm gonna go into the gym today and attempt some heavier weights. Now, obviously 205 is not heavy, but it's relative to me and the injury that I had. So 205 was the most I've tried in the last year, and I got a few reps with it. So we're just gonna test it out today, give it 110% effort and see where we are. So the second I walked through the gym doors, someone tried to say what's up to me, give me a high five, and I punched him in the face. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I got my headphones on and started my mobility right away. Now, if you guys are interested in more mobility stuff, I've done some videos, but you can Google DeFranco's Agile 8 or Limber 11. I've talked about these before, but I'll also be doing a follow-up video to my new mobility routine. Some of the stuff I like to do, it's different every time depending on what muscles feel tight but these are some basic movements you can do to prepare yourself for lower body training. Now we went into it, hit some squats, and I didn't show every progression because I didn't want it to get boring, so I started with the bar, you know, 95, 135, what you see here is 205 pounds, which I did in my last training session of leg day, and I believe I got it for a few reps, but today it just felt easy, so I said, why not let's throw 225 on the bar and see how it moves. Now I tried to keep my form as tight as possible, and I was able to hit depth with speed, and I was like, you know what? We're just gonna ramp up the weight. After that, I did 240, I believe, and what you see on the bar right here is 250, so this would absolutely be a PR for me. It's 45 pounds more than I've touched in the last year, so I'll let you guys see how it goes. <laughs> Not bad, but not good enough. I'll try again. As you can see, the speed was really slow and I wasn't satisfied, so I told myself, you're gonna do it again. So as you could tell that 250 moved much better than the first attempt and I was even able to get two reps which I probably could have grinded out a few more but again today was not a day to see how many reps I can get it was to push myself out of my comfort zone and stop fearing you know getting hurt I know that's always going to be a fear after you've dealt with an injury but it can't hold you back from making progress so that was my main focus during the training session overall I'm happy with the 250 but now I just want to keep pushing myself further and get stronger so after that I really just went ahead and did some deadlifts as you can see I got pissed at the weight falling off there and that's my own fault because I didn't use clamps but the clamps at the gym don't really hold the weight on anyway because they've been stretched out so got to look into getting some lockjaw collars or something like that so did a few sets of 225 through 15 through 405 on the bar and I didn't have any chalk and the gym was out of chalk so 
After squats, I was dead anyway. I really just wanted to get my squats down and deadlifts were just a bonus at the end. So hit 405 for a few reps and that pretty much concluded the training session and the video. So thanks as always for watching guys. I really appreciate the support. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button as always. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you